it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Wednesday, October 30th. So today we have the moon in Libra energy here all day, which of course has given us a little bit of a throwback to what Libra season was all about, which was indecision, confusion, delusion. Thank you to eclipse season for that. And of course we had some very pivotal things happen, especially with some relationship dynamics that we of course needed to rearrange, needed to kind of Take a good look at the energy exchange, the boundaries, if you will. And in some cases, the relationship dynamics that did kind of pop up and hit the fan. We are now tying up those loose ends. We are putting those particular topics and themes and aspects and relationship dynamics behind us. And we are prepared to move on. We are prepared to be empowered, especially as we move into the new moon in Scorpio, which of course is going to be taking place on November 1st. We still have a couple of days of October left, which means that we are wrapping up a very important cycle of this new identity, this new version of self coming out to play. We have a relatively quiet day here in the cosmos, meaning there are only seven different aspects. Six of those aspects are going to involve the moon. But again, when I say quiet, doesn't necessarily mean that we're not going to be going through it. We do have a very powerful aspect popping off here today. The only one that does not involve the moon between Mercury and Uranus. So that is definitely going to kind of spice things up, probably put us in a little bit of an anxious situation, if you will. There's a lot of energy coming in in order to kind of help us flip tables so that we are real and raw and vulnerable and open enough to make the changes that we have to make as we move through the new moon in Scorpio energy. So with all of that being said, we kick off the day with a little bit of a harsh interaction between the moon, of course, in this Libra energy, striving for peace, harmony and balance, of course, not getting any of that, recognizing where it is that certain areas of life are out of whack, are living in extremes. And of course, we're going to attempt to bring those particular parts into balance. Are we going to achieve it? Probably not, but we are going to make every effort to do so. Saturn, the Lord of Karma, of course, he is retrograde in this Pisces energy for the next couple of we'll call it weeks. We are kind of wrapping up this retrograde period, which of course has been taking us on an inward journey to see where it is that we have to boss up, where it is that we need to be a little bit more disciplined, a little bit more hell bent, damn well and determined to kind of do better and be better, especially we're kind of kicking some falsities, some old belief systems, some limiting belief systems to the curb, and of course, anchoring in a new structure, a new foundation of what we actually believe to be true, what we believe we deserve, what we believe we're actually worthy of. We have to kind of get the foundation right in order for us to be able to align with this new goal, new vision, new dream coming from this new version of self. If we do not tackle the let's call it weak belief system that we have been operating off of, we do not build that restructure it strengthen it, we are only going to replicate what it is that we've currently got. And so the major shift is happening in our inner realm. So emotionally speaking, of course, the moon in Libra wants to stay in the shallow end wants to pretend that everything is going well, that everything is happy go lucky. But of course, Saturn, he brings in a little bit of a reality check, we're not able to kind of stay in the shallow end of our thoughts of our emotions as we would like there is this deep penetrating need to kind of deal with life as it is not for the way we wish it would be and of course we have to address the areas of concern specifically where relationship dynamics are being highlighted so the moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, the ruler over this Libra energy. But Venus, of course, is in Sag energy, pushing for freedom, pushing for independence, pushing for exploration, for experimentation on what we could do differently in order to create a different reality, a different day-to-day -day life where our happiness, our joy, our safety, our security is concerned. And of course, we have to do things differently in order to get a different result. And we are definitely more 
optimistic in this Sag energy to kind of get in alignment with some of the new aspects that we want to try out. Maybe it is just understanding where certain people, places and things have basically become a little bit of an anchor, a little bit of a weight, a bit of a blockage, if you will. And where it is that we have to kind of mix things up, create different energy connections, different time, energy and space parameters between people, places and things that of course we're now identifying aren't working for us aren't supporting us, aren't encouraging us, aren't even our vibe at this particular point in time. So the moon sextiling with Venus is a beautiful interaction. It's going to help us kind of get to the heart, to the truth of the matter. Again, Libra energy being air, Sag energy being fire. There's going to be a spark. And with that spark comes a new idea. And with that idea comes a new creative solution on what it is that we could do differently in order to promote the happiness, the joy, the safety, security, stability that we're really wanting to manifest in order for our future selves to be in a better situation and circumstance than our present selves currently are. The moon then going to make a positive interaction with Saturn. So this is a beautiful energy, especially compared to the earlier interaction that we kind of kicked the day off with, because now we're starting to realize where it is that we do need to stabilize, where it is that we do need to kind of strengthen certain structures, especially in relationship dynamics, especially getting organized in our thoughts, in our emotions, in our understanding of how it is that we've gotten here, the choices, the decisions that we've made that, of course, have created this particular particular outcome. And of course, if we're not happy with this outcome, we can make some changes, some alterations, if you will, in order to get a different result. This is us kind of becoming a little bit more realistic in our approach to where the areas of life are kind of crazy, kind of chaotic, a little bit out of whack, where it is that again, we are testing our abilities to shift our thoughts to shift our emotions into something more positive. And so emotionally speaking, we're trying to find that peace, harmony and balance. But again, with Mr. Saturn giving us this, I'm going to say welcomed reality check, we have a different idea on how to go about kind of bringing into peace, harmony and balance into the areas of life that we've identified are a little bit wackadoodle. The moon then going to make a positive interaction with Uranus. Uranus is the great awakener. He is retrograde in Taurus energy. What does Libra and Taurus have in common? That's right. Venus rules over both. Now, here's the thing where Uranus is being aspected in a positive way. There's going to be an aha moment. There's going to be an epiphany. There's going to be a new shift in our mental plane, in our perspective, in our understanding. We are going to now know things that we can't unknow. And because Uranus's whole point being retrograde in the Taurus energy is to illuminate where it is that we're holding on to the old for dare life, where it is that we've outgrown certain people, places and things, yet we still have a death grip on trying to keep them alive and well, keep them very present in this, you know, current circumstance, even though we are, we are praying for change, we want to put certain people, places and things in the past where they belong, we still have this energetic connection. And so emotionally speaking, we're going to start seeing where it is in our physical realm that the scales are out of whack and out of balance because we're the damn problem. We're holding on to people, places and things that we have no business holding on to. And so when we have this perspective shift, when we have this illumination on where it is that we're blocking our own damn progress, then the aha moment, the light bulb kind of flicks on. And suddenly we have a different way of going about making the small changes in our physical realm that are going going to end up with big results. We have the moon in Libra energy sitting across from directly opposing Chiron, the wounded healer who is retrograde in this Aries energy, helping us with this new version of self, helping us to examine the pain, the trauma, the wound still alive and well in this new version of self, and really doing what we can to kind of shift those particular heaviness, those negativities, those weights into something powerful, into something positive. Of course, an opposition means that we're sitting across the table from this version of self, from our wounds, from our pain, from our trauma. The moon in Libra energy would prefer to turn a blind eye. We really don't want to go that deep. We really don't want to talk about all the things that are wrong. We don't want to talk about the issues. We don't want to talk about the pain and trauma that we've accumulated from relationships of the past. And so the disconnect here, the friction, the tension is that we are trying to imagine rainbows and butterflies in the dark. We're trying to imagine 
rainbows and butterflies while we're trying to unearth the darkest parts of self that again, the moon and Libra turning a blind eye to. So of course, there's a little bit of tension, a little bit of conflict, because of course, in order to change our circumstances, in order to manifest the realm of reality in which we are currently trying to manifest, we have to do the deep inner work that of course, the moon and Libra has no want, need or desire to do. 6.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in the Scorpio energy with the detective hat on. We're bringing things up. We're breaking things down. We're coming to a deeper understanding. We're using our intellect and our intuition to kind of read between the lines, so to speak, and start piecing together, connecting the dots, certain information and details that have been in our face this whole time, but we've been basically eclipsed from it not able to see it hidden away from it. Now these pieces are starting to come to light. Mercury, of course, sitting across from Uranus, the great awakener, who of course is retrograde in Taurus energy, Scorpio and Taurus energy sit across from each other in the Zodiac wheel. Uranus is the highest form of our intelligence connecting us with the higher realms of intelligence with other dimensions. We receive the epiphanies, the downloads, the insights from the Iranian energy. Mercury, on the other hand, rules over the lower level intellect that is connected to the egoic programming, very dependent on taking information in from our physical realms and forming thoughts and opinions, weighing the pros and cons based off of the physical reality. So here we have this teeter-totter. Of course, we've been on this teeter-totter ever since the moon kind of moved back into this Libra energy, giving us a throwback to Libra season and eclipse season. But we're on this teeter-totter. There is a huge amount of energy coming in from other dimensions that we are having a hard time kind of understanding and articulating and therefore piecing together in our mental plane. There is going to be a high, high intensity in our headspace. Again, listen to the Ascension forecast for this week to understand where the physical manifestation of some of these energy shifts are going to be taking place in the physical form. The headspace definitely on spotlight with this particular interaction. First of all, we have the higher mind and the lower mind trying to come to an agreement, trying to come to a compromise. And again, hard thing to do. We have a lot of energy coming in pressurizing us to kind of see things from a different set of eyes. We are going to have different perspectives, different views, different angles of a situation of a circumstance that have already kind of transpired and popped off that we have been seeing through a particular lens that now that particular lens is going to be shifting. Our understanding of a particular matter definitely not on the same page. We are going to be challenging that with a 180 perspective. This is a time where there's going to be high mental tension in order for us to be challenging our thoughts, challenging our ideas, challenging our understanding and perspective of situations and circumstances already gone by. We are going to have a high probability of miscommunications, misunderstandings, going to feel a little bit Mercury retrograde-ish. There are going to be light bulbs, epiphanies, aha moments that are definitely going to put us in a situation to either change our mind or have to change our plans due to the information, the details now coming in. And of course, with the Taurus energy that Uranus is currently retrograde in, we are going to resist those ideas at all costs. Why? Because it's a fixed sign. Scorpio energy, also a fixed sign. So there's a lot of fixation on trying to keep things the same old, same old, even though that we're praying for change, even though that we have to have a different mindset, a different emotional disposition in order to create a different result. So if we're open, we can definitely receive a lot of insight, a lot of aha moments that are going to change our mind, going to change our path, going to change our plans. And as long as we can kind of keep our egos in check, this is going to be information that at this particular juncture, we're not going to know what to do with. However, it's more clarity than we've had in the most recent of weeks. Um, but we're not going to be able to do anything with it until after the new moon in Scorpio. And so this could put us on edge. This could put us kind of in a situation where we're a little bit more confrontational. We're trying to be guarded. Again, thank you, Mars and Cancer Energy for that. Guarded to protect and defend what it is that we thought was true, that we were really believing in. That made sense to us. Now, well, you know, the tables are turning and it is definitely up to us to have an open mind and an open heart to at least play devil's advocate within ourselves and challenge ourselves to see things from a different lens. So this is definitely not 
the right time to be bringing forth new ideas, new arguments, new conversations that require a lot of love and empathy, compassion and acceptance. Again, we are in an unwinding and an ending and a closure chapter. So this isn't a time where we're planting seeds of new, new conversations, new ideas, new prospects. This is time for us to kind of keep our new levels of awareness, our insights, our epiphanies to our damn selves until we can understand them better, until we can come up with a plan and strategy on what this actually means for us in moving forward. So of course, where Uranus is concerned, we have to expect the unexpected and the light bulb moments, the epiphanies coming out of the woodwork. This is definitely going to put us in a situation where maybe we're receiving some out of the blue news. Maybe there is just, you know, the information and details that are coming to light are shocking in a way. Um, this is just going to kind of turn our current perceptions of a situation of a circumstance all the way on its head. And we have to kind of learn to kind of step back and observe instead of our ego reacting to the situation and moving in to try and keep things the same, to kind of brush things off and to continue to focus on what it is that, again, we've been comfortable in thinking, we've been comfortable in understanding and perceiving. So that is definitely going to be a doozy. The last thing that we got going on here today is the moon in this Libra energy, trining beautiful interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, who, of course, is retrograde, again, in our work, in Gemini energy, in our mental plane, challenging our thoughts, challenging our ideas, challenging our understanding, challenging our perspective, challenging the knowledge, the wisdom that we've already accumulated from tough love life lessons, and really asking ourselves, why the hell aren't we doing better if we know better? Again, this is an integration time. And so lucky for us, this is a trine, which means that there's a certain amount of growth. There's a gentle nudge in the right direction where we're a little bit more optimistic, a little bit more confident than we were earlier in the day. We are also starting to realize because this is a trine of like-minded energies, air on air action, there's definitely going to be a change in our headspace. And especially coming out of that Mercury opposition with Uranus, giving us a perspective shift, intensifying the information the details that we now have to challenge within ourselves. This is going to be a huge amount of realization first and then growth second when we realize information and knowledge that have been in our faces the whole times that have been within us this whole time that we're failing to integrate failing to put into practice. Then we have that aha moment on where it is that we're going through a particular chapter that needs us to get out of our damn way get out of our comfort zone in order for us to grow heal and evolve.